Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ozone. Today we've got a, a kind of mini theory video, um, kind of a little bit more uh, information about the logbook um, because I don't know, ever since Step Closer came out I've been looking at it differently and I've noticed a few things, a few, a few things that are off. Shut up phone. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, today we're actually going to be talking about something that I don't agree with, with MatPat. Uh, I don't agree with it at all. Um, and I didn't say it in my reaction video, um, because I didn't really pick it up. But um, as soon as I realised, uh, and it was also Inky Ink um, who, who kind of developed this idea for me, and it was the fact that he was talking about how the logbook works, and he is completely wrong in what he is saying. The reason I think he makes contradictions in his own theories is so that he doesn't get too abused for it anymore. <laughs> like, he made debatable theories in the past and then everybody started hating him for no reason. Um, and I, I think he's scared of that, so he's giving both sides of the argument, which is good, which is good. Anyway, uh, I'm quickly gonna show you the clip, basically. Uh, just hope that everything works. Also, I think it's gonna be really loud. Wait, where is my... okay. Uh, yeah, it was gonna be really loud. Okay. So this is the clip, right? Where he talks about it. But of course, of course, of course, it is never that easy. This same security logbook, this thing that has been so pivotal to solving so many mysteries of this franchise, raises just as many challenges. Because mm. sure, here it just confirmed the Foxy Bro connection, but then it also has lines like these. Page 103, the party was real. Page 75, does he still talk to you? In reference to psychic friend Fredbear. Page 23, was your favorite childhood toy a plastic purple telephone? Page 20, what do you remember? And most troublesome of all, page 31, do you remember your name? All of these questions seem pointed to the crying child. The party was for him. His- We'll stop it right there. You get the general gist of it. The, the flaw in his theory, the flaw, is the fact that um, there is Cassidy, the soul, in the logbook, and even though uh, we just basically confirmed that Michael Afton is the Foxy Bro, it kind of points to contradictions and it says otherwise. It says the other theory, and this is the main reason people believed Mike Victim. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like the only evidence we have now, it's the fact that there is a logbook. However, I feel like, I feel like MatPat doesn't understand what the logbook is anymore. Because it's kind of changed, it's developed our, our theories as, as time has gone on. So I'm going to show you a few things, okay? Uh, what should I show you? We're going to see, well, uh, uh, look. Firstly, let's have a look at what the logbook really is. So I've got a few images here, this is just the preview of it, um, someone uploaded all the, all the photos. Um, and you'll see it was called the Five Nights at Friday's security logbook, and then somebody uh, wrote survival because they're in danger. And this kind of confirmed that the person who wrote this, let me just scroll down to it, the person who wrote this was in danger, aka the protagonist in the FNAF games, and that is Mike. Okay, Mike, Mike Schmidt, Michael Afton. We always thought Mike Schmidt was Michael Afton. Anyway, we've we've kind of confirmed this, and and we know from this now that anything in red ink is Michael. So we're gonna have a look through, and we're gonna see some red ink somewhere, not blood. I mean, we we see like a few tally marks on different pages. There's a few like clues. There's love hearts. Who would you recommend for this job? Fantastic. Um, you see there's there's a lot of red writing. I mean, I say this and none of it comes up. <laughs> uh, where is it? Uh, why can't I find any? There's another tally mark. Oh, here we go. So, something like this. Feeling down? Li list 10 reasons why applying to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza seemed like a good idea at the time. And then this is Michael saying employees get free pizza. That's just a joke. I mean, that's just meant to be funny. Um, okay. 
apart from that, we also have other writing. The, like, the logbook is amazing. So many things are in it, so many secrets. Um, so where, where, let's have a look. Okay, here it says my name. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can see it actually. It says my name here in very faded text. Very faded, so you're starting to get the gist that maybe this isn't a physical person who's writing my name. Like, it's very faded. Uh, and that's one thing about this as well. Uh, there's also a faded, was your favourite uh, ride the carousel? I know there's also, what's your favourite childhood toy, a purple telephone? What do you see in the mirror? What do you see? Uh, yeah, anyway, we, we see loads of, loads of faded text. The one that gets me out is actually the one that says my name, the first one we saw. Because actually, that kind of goes against what I was thinking. Anyway, anyway. We know that there is a soul inside of the logbook, or the, a soul writing to people in the logbook. And this is uh, Cassidy, okay? Cassidy, um, who's in the Missing Children's Incident, apparently possesses Golden Freddy, or at least a portion of it. Um, Cassidy is, is writing to someone in this logbook. The mistake that MatPat made is that she, or he, it could be a he, is writing to Michael. That's the mistake that Matt made. He assumed that because there's two kind of text types, there's the red text and the faded text, that one was talking to the other. And that is incorrect. There's technically three. There's three different people uh, interacting with this book, and it's Michael Afton, red text, Cassidy, faded text, and bite victim, although I'm not sure where that comes in. I'm pretty sure it's faded text as well. It would be. Anyway, especially with like my name as well, like I don't think Cassidy would say my name. I think like bite, bite victim would say that. Either way, you know, it's Cassidy is not talking to, the, to uh, Michael Afton at this point. She's talking to the bite victim, um, which further supports the theory that Michael Afton is the foxy bro. Um, and if you still, after all of this, don't believe that Michael Afton is the foxy master brother, oh my god, I'll, I'll show you some more things. I'm going to try and see some more things. So obviously we have everything from Step Closer is basically saying Pete is foxy bro, is Michael. That's, that's the thing. The other thing that I didn't say in my theory, and that Matt didn't say in his theory, is that in Step Closer, Pete has a nightmare about Foxy. Obviously that means he's, look, he's seeing the nightmare animatronics. And who sees the nightmare animatronics in FNAF 4? Michael Afton. So, there's a correlation between them two as well, that they're both the FNAF 4 people. One thing here that I found this morning, and I was like, is that a thing? Is this, this page. Um, so to begin, we suggest you fill out some basic information. Basic information. Um, <laughs> in the unlikely event of an emergency, down here, I mean, we have name, phone, address, all that's fine. Medications, yeah, allergies, true. Organ donor. Why? <laughs> so if you if you haven't figured it up yet, organ donor, that that's a very weird thing to put in your basic information. Like I'm pretty sure the first thing they're not they're going to try and find out um, once you have an accident is if you're an organ donor or not. Anyway, um, so yeah, that that is a correlation with step closer to, okay? Because uh, Pete is an organ donor. He was. He was an involuntary organ donor. <laughs> um, so that was, that's just something to point out. Scott, I think, is 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 taking these small details he put in before and adding them to the books. I love that. Love that. The thing you also need to remember about this about this um, this logbook is it was designed to solve our our 
problems, and so was the Fazbear's Fights books. And at this point, if you're ignoring this kind of evidence, the, all of this information, you're not drawing correlations, you're just ignoring everything, why are you here? Like, honestly, you need to look at every single corner. Oh my god, I said that with a lisp. You need to look at every single corner, not single corner. You need to look at every single corner of the of the FNAF books and everything, really, because Scott said this this is to clear things up. Fast Beth writes is to clear things up, and when they're connected, like you have to make judgments off of it. Um, what other things was I going to say? Yeah, there was a Would You Rather page. Um, I mean, there's not much here. I'll, I'll come back to this one, but here, this is like everything. This is everything, every little secret in the survival logbook. Uh, every little like red marks and, and little faded marks and stuff. But um, there was another would you rather page. And these were the options. These were all of the options. So we have sleep with one eye open or not sleep at all. Eat only baked beans or eat only tuna salad. Make a plan to escape or make a plan to call for help. Listen to a creepy voice or listen to the silence. Lose your frontal lobe or lose an arm. Now, there's a few things that are pointed out here, and the overall overall arcing overarching theory is that the left side is all about the bite victim, the crying child, and the right side is all about the foxy bro, Michael Afton, Pete. Okay, and the things that I will say is not sleep at all that that is basically FNAF 4 you can you can say um, nothing really here kind of nothing here I mean crying child was trying to escape the the Fred Bear's family diner on his birthday listen to a creepy voice um, Fred Bear plush okay listen to the silence I don't think that's anything lose your frontal lobe I mean that's that's pretty obvious and lose an arm if you want to be a pirate you have to lose an eye and an arm just saying just saying um, and then if we go back to this one hug Freddy I mean it's it's a stretch but bite victim is kind of closely related to Freddy um, or hug Foxy that's pretty obvious um, Foxy Mass brother Pete and Foxy you know um, work night shift, Michael Afton works night shift yeah, I, there's there's not much else really there um, but I, that that's just something I think I needed to point out those are all a few things I think I needed to point out there's nothing much really all I'm saying is I think Matt misunderstood the, the logbook and I think his entire theory in that video was correct. I agree with all of it, except that last, what, like, 40 seconds? Um, and the reason I disagree with it is because he misunderstood, and I really do think Michael Afton is the Foxy Bro, and there's no evidence against it. I can't see any evidence against it. I can't see any evidence for Mike Victim at all. Um... Like that's it. I <laughs> I can't. I I seriously can't see any evidence. If you guys have any reasoning to believe Mike victim, tell me in the comments. I will debunk it. I will tell you there is a lot more evidence for Mike Bro. Ultimately, I don't think I'm gonna change my mind at this point. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye.